Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another NECA Toys Gargoyles video. And I'm always stoked when we get a new one for the old collection. They're pretty much spaced out, which, again, it's always nice when you finally get a new one going. It's a must-have, for me at least. But today, from the episode, The Silver Falcon, we have the Detective Broadway, or Trenchcoat Broadway. Now, there are nice photos of the figure all over the box. It's got the flappy opening. You get to see nice photos. You get to see everything in the box. As I always say, if you do get a chance to go through a few of these on the store shelf, just make sure you get yourself a good looking one. On the back side of the box, it's the usual. When gargoyles come alive, evil can't survive. And that will basically sum up this paragraph right here. But feel free to read it. And you get nice photos of Broadway interacting with all of his accessories. And here's all the figures released thus far. Pretty incredible. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure. So thank you very much for that. And here's the barcode. He is hitting Target store shelves now. That's where I found mine as part of Holothon 2024, but do keep in mind he is not an exclusive and eventually will go elsewhere in the coming months. For those of you not familiar with Gargoyles, this is based off the episode entitled The Silver Falcon. Now, Broadway is a huge fan of old detective police dramas, and when Tony Dracon kidnaps Detective Bluestone, Broadway jumps at the chance to help Elisa Maza in tracking him down. But there is a mystery afoot, and Tony Dracon and his men have other plans for the Silver Falcon. So, Broadway and Elisa team up to figure out his dealio, and the Silver Falcon may be in this photo. But give the episode a watch. It's pretty darn good. But in the meantime, this is going to be an absolute blast. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new from the Nekatoys Gargoyles line, Detective Broadway and the Case of the Silver Falcon. So now here's everything taken out of the... You know what? Let's get rid of this noir vision. There we go. Nice Technicolor to check out. So here's everything taken out of the packaging. And what is nice for this particular release is that you do get a slew of accessories. You get his folded down draped wings. And you do get a very standout head portrait for the character and what I think about for Broadway. Now, with the extra hands, you do get item holding hands, sandwich holding hands, fisted hands, and claw hands. You do get lots of food accessories, which is a necessity for the character of Broadway. And I love this Chinese food takeout box. You got some chow mein going, chopsticks go very easy with the chopsticks, but just overall, it's a beautifully sculpted piece. You also get a cast iron, we'll say chili pot, with a spoon ladle be very careful with that but just the fact that this plastic item is painted to look like cast iron and then you got the stew inside the chili inside looks great you also get and this one is my favorite it's just so simple but so effective a sandwich with a bite taken out of it but everything is very clear it looks like a pastrami on rye sort of deal cheese tomato lettuce the meats you get to see everything up close it's Awesome. Now, this is actually pretty cool. And at first I thought, is it a pickle jar? No, it's a jar of pickled jalapenos. Like for the joke, jalapeno, pena, pena. You know, that that kind of thing. Anyways, it's got some nice paint, all of it, some green smattering to really kind of bring it to life. And no, the jar does not open. Unfortunately, although it kind of feels like it would, perhaps you can do me one better and get it open. But at the same time, it's perfect for what it is. And it's a nice accessory for Broadway. Speaking of which, you do get a couple extra head portraits. They are ones that we have seen released thus far. More of a serious toned head, but everything is painted beautifully. All the colors are there. All the shading is there. It's a very nice head portrait, as is the snarling head portrait. Now, in my prior Broadway video, when we first looked at the first release, I thought a hinge jaw would be really cool. 
they have given us the folded down draped wings for him. So that's another one down. They are nicely done. It's the same exact dealio like all the other gargoyles with their draped wings. So you're not going to see anything special, anything new, but the colors are really nice. More of a green undertone with the blue. And then you have black with a little bit of a, a shimmery purple in there. If it's kind of picking up via the camera. Now for the figure itself, if you already have the prior release Broadway, you may not see a whole lot of new here, and that's being 100% honest with you, because it's the exact same figure, but now he has a trench coat. What's nice, though, is that on the back of the trench coat, NECA has already cut out the portholes so you can stall the wings if you so choose to display him. Now, what's really nice, though, is that this particular head portrait is what I think about for Broadway. It's more of a, a goofy-looking head portrait, and to me, again, that's the lovable Broadway. Also, his hat comes off, which is equally as nice. So you can interswap it between all three of the head portraits. Simply just kind of adheres to little horns on his head. But like I said, that through and through, this new head portrait is Broadway all the way. You're going to see the exact same articulation. Nothing fancy, nothing changed. It's the exact same. So go easy on the articulation until you figure it out. The trench coat itself is kind of cumbersome in some sense, especially around the collar. I found myself consistently readjusting it. Is it a huge problem? No, but when you move it around, just be prepared for that. The tie on the trench coat does have bendy wire in it, which is really cool, as does the lining on the outskirts of the trench coat. So you can totally do some New York City flashing if you so choose. Now, it's not the strongest of bendy wires, but it definitely does its job in holding it open and giving it more of a windswept look. But like I said, the articulation, the legs, the knees, the feet, the tail, the bendy wire tail, which definitely aids in standing your gargoyles up. It's all the same. So if you have the prior release Broadway, you already have this figure. If you want these extra accessories, head portrait, the trench coat, the specificness of being based on the episode, the Silver Falcon, yes, look no further. This will definitely be the figure for you. But in having the prior release Broadway, you can then choose your look based on the episode. So in the beginning, he has a trench coat, but now he's got the outstretched wings, and that's where the holes in the coat really help to achieve this look. So that when you want to dodge some limos and scream at some New York City drivers, yes, that definitely achieves the more my wings just busted out of this trench coat, and now I'm going after Tony Dracon. But you can also then have the folded down wings. He's already busted out of the trench coat, so might as well just complete the look at this point. And then the final form of the trench coat is one that no longer exists. It gets ripped to shreds, and you can just have <laughs> Broadway tip in his hat like a true detective would. So that looks great in and of itself. But like I said, if you have both Broadways, you can just interswap the wings, leave the wings off the trench coated version because that's how he spends the beginning of the episode. It's your choice. Choose your own gargoyles adventure. But with the draped down wings, the original release with the new fun loving head portrait and that wild sandwich. Why, that's the Broadway I know and love right there. He looks amazing, but that's the beauty of collecting because now you have a trench coated version. He's in the shadows of New York alleyway. He's chowing down on some chow mein. That looks cool as well. So both figures really do have a place on your collection shelf. Again, if you are a huge Gargoyles fanatic, much like myself. When you have Elisa Maza next to this Detective Broadway, as Elisa and Broadway are the really only two main characters in this entire episode next to Bluestone and then give or take Dracon's right-hand man glasses or the police chief. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I wouldn't mind seeing figures of Dracon and Bluestone. That would really be a nice addition to the whole Gargoyles collection. So that's gonna wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new NECA toys from their Disney Gargoyles line, Detective Broadway and the case of the Silver Falcon. If you got yourself Elisa Maza, she's gonna look really nice with this new Detective Broadway. If you have the prior release, you can use the drape down wings, put that head portrait on him, give him a sandwich, and he will look stellar. But you definitely don't have to buy both of them to achieve this look. You can just buy the trench coated version and you would be fine. But 
That's how you have more of a display. That's really all it is. So you can give them the outstretched wings, give them some of those noodles, and display all three as such if you like. But you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Detective Broadway, and I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, bring on Cold Stone, dang it. I can't wait. And then Macbeth. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.